Are you searching for the best coffee to drink in Vienna? Then we made this video for you. <laughs> hey guys, it's Alex from European Coffee Trip and right now we are in Vienna. And in this video we want to show you eight really interesting coffee spots that you should definitely visit. This coffee guide is sponsored by Cropster. They write software that helps people to make better coffee. First Viennese coffee houses opened their doors several hundred years ago, but when it comes to specialty coffee, its history is much shorter. The first specialty coffee shops and roasters were founded around 2011. In this video, we wanted to show you some of the pioneers, but also new kids on the Viennese specialty coffee map. So a great place to start our coffee tour is Café Fabrik, a coffee brand that started almost 10 years ago, but opened their new coffee shop in June 2012. Okay, so Café Fabrik is one of the pioneers of specialty coffee in Vienna. They opened their first shop and roastery in 2011. But in now, in 2020, they opened the second location. It's much bigger and in the other part of the city. So that's why we came here. We got a chance to meet founder Tobias Radinger. He came for a morning coffee and we had a short chat about their new café. Okay, so we are starting rather traditional cappuccino from Brazilian coffee. It should be really sweet, but the next thing will be 100% Robusta Espresso. <laughs> it's rare to offer 100% single origin Robusta as an espresso, but since Cafe Fabric use high quality Robusta for some of their plants, they want to let people taste it in its pure form. It's actually pleasant to drink. As it comes so clean and, and, and reliable, this is how, why we dared to, to offer this as a, as a single as well. This was Cafe Fabric and right next to me is actually bike. That's how they deliver all the coffee within Vienna. And now we continue. Cafe number two is Jonas Reindl Coffee. Okay, so the next coffee shop is just around the corner. It's called Jonas Reindl Coffee Roasters. And we are meeting Lisa from Cropster over there. Lisa got cold brew coffee and we ordered filter coffee and from three options on the menu, we picked Canyon coffee. Lisa is a product manager at Cropster, who often comes to Jonas Reindl for a coffee break, but also to test new software features. We were curious to find out what she likes about this coffee shop. I really like that, well, it's so central uh, and I think it's, it was their second shop they opened here and uh, it is one of the very little shops here in Vienna that actually have a roasting machine standing here and actively roasting the coffee. So I think it's really great because you really see how the coffee gets made. So you see how they put like the green beans into the coffee machine, they, they roast it and then you see and you smell it already. Uh, yeah, you're pretty much excited about coffee just sitting here and not yet having a sip of your coffee. We, we work very close here, so our office is at the moment about like 15 minutes away and like every time when we like, for example, have a new feature as we make like software for specialty coffee, we come here and also ask Philip to test it with us because we can see like how it works, uh, how he likes it and how we can improve it. Okay, so this was Jonas Reindl Coffee Roasters and now we continue. Coffee number three, Coffee Pirates. Okay, so behind me is a coffee pirate. It's a coffee shop and roastery that serves and brew coffee since 2012 and we're gonna visit it now. Located in the 9th district, Coffee Pirates is a busy but extremely friendly coffee shop. It's often full of people waiting for their takeaway coffee, but also to sit and enjoy a small breakfast or snack. Okay, so our coffee is ready. Here was the cappuccino and the coffee is house blend from Coffee Pirates. We were lucky to see and talk to a founder of Coffee Pirates, Werner Savernik, who is the best storyteller when it comes to traveling and coffee origins. You have so many different options where to sit and relax at Coffee Pirates. So Coffee Pirates is divided in many different sections. One is the terrace, but even inside, just behind me, you see the original roastery where most of the coffee for Coffee Pirates were roasted. But now, since the demand rose, so they have to move it out of the city and now just the extension of the coffee shop. Okay, so thank you so much. Okay. Have a nice day. Okay, so that was Coffee Pirate and just around the corner there is a Pelican Coffee Company and that's the coffee shop we visit next. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so we are on a Pelican Gasse and the Pelican Coffee Company is over there. I can see the sign. The Pelican Coffee was opened in May 2018 by two experienced baristas, Adam and Bedran. Very often you will meet at least one of them behind the bar, but our coffee was served by our friend Madeline, who is the 2020 Austrian barista champion. So I ordered uh, Fredo Espresso and for Radek, uh, what, what did you order? Flat white on ice. Flat, flat white on ice for Radek. They would always serve coffee from a local specialty coffee roastery, Susmund, but they rotate guest roasters. We could taste coffee roasted by Black in Bratislava. That is Tanzania from Black from Bratislava. There's a Fredo Espresso and here is the iced flat white with Mexico from Susmund. I think it's the first Fredo Espresso I'm drinking outside of Greece. Before we left, we get a chance to meet and have a quick chat with the co-founder, Adam Kovac. Okay, so that was Pelican Coffee. We also get some coffee from Susmund, Kenyan Coffee, and now we continue. So on the way to our next coffee shop, we pass also some interesting places we cannot visit today. And one of them is People on Coffee. It's one of the initial specialty coffee shop in the city, some coffee shop that actually helped to build the whole coffee scene here. So if you are in the area, check it out. Okay, so we moved in Vienna, it's still 9th district. Over there is uh, Sigmund Freud Park, but there is the first location of Jonas Reindl that we will skip for now because we go to Café La Marche. So right behind me is Café La Marche. I hope I pronounced it correctly. And when we ask for the favorite coffee shop in Vienna on our Instagram page, the most people actually recommend this place. So let's see if it's worth it. It's small in size, but a really gorgeous cafe founded by Berat Seca in 2017. They serve coffee from independent specialty coffee roasters from all around Europe. We are tasting coffee from Frankfurt's Hoppenforden Bloch, and the next in line was Morgan Coffee Roasters from Gothenburg. So I got a cold brew. It's uh, made from a Rwandan coffee roasted by Hoppenfort and Bloch in Frankfurt. It's a long time we haven't drink this coffee. And Radek got an espresso and tonic. And the last thing, we got a tip for the best almond croissant in town. So let's taste it. Besides coffee, Café La Marge is known for a good selection of natural wines and delicious weekend brunches. So the next trip to Vienna is during the weekend. Good trip in Vienna, yeah? Thank you, bye-bye. That was Café La Marche and now we continue. Okay, so now we are entering the inner city of Vienna and there are not many specialty coffee shops in the district one. But there are two of them that we know. One is a Café Couture and the second one is Fancy Café. Both are unique in its own way, but in this video we will show you only the second one. Café number six is Fancy Café. Okay, so Fancy Café is not a regular coffee shop, it's just a coffee window that we don't usually feature in our videos, but this one is very special and it's over there. You just don't see it, but we'll go there, we'll show you. So now you can see it. It looks almost like a tourist trap, but it's not. They really serve a good coffee, they roast it by themselves, so we'll need to wait some time because there are so many people. Most of them come not because of the specialty coffee, but because of Cornetto Chino which is a cappuccino poured into a chocolate-filled ice cream cone. Being a tourist for a day, I wanted to try it too. Uh, try Cornetto Chino. Really? So I have Geisha here and you want Cornetto Chino? Oh my god, okay. <laughs> I will try the Geisha. Okay. Luckily, Radek saved our credit and ordered also a hand-brewed Geisha coffee from Panama. It was roasted by the founder of Fancy Cafe, Sasha. So what are the instruction, instructions now? Drink? Drink from here. The chocolate is melting when you are drinking it, so it's fun. So it looks like a regular small coffee window, by, but behind the, the counter there are three group uh, San Remo machine, EK43 and uh, Geisha Coffee Brewing. It's a Geisha from Panama, from Finca Hartman, Santa Clara region, and it's an anaerobic fermentation. It's very intense, almost like a whiny, whiny coffee. Okay, so it was Fancy Cafe, a little gem hidden in the small street, but worth the visit, and now we continue. Cafe number seven, Balthazar Cafe Bar. Now we cross the river and move to second district of Vienna, where we visit Balthazar Cafe. 
Balthazar Cafe Bar is a well-designed and well-thought cafe founded by Otto Bayer. It has been redesigned last year so we could enjoy a fresh look of the space. Coffee is roasted by Wild Cafe in Germany and we continued our exploration of summer coffee drinks. I'm taking bloody orange drip. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished the bloody orange drip and it was really good. It was a red orange lemonade mixed with the cold drip made from the natural process Honduras coffee. That actually was so good that I get some taste sample. Okay, so this was Balthazar Cafe and we continue. Cafe number eight, Karl Ludwig Cafe. Okay, so over there is our next cafe. We just need to cross this busy street and we are there. Carl Ludwig Cafe is a new coffee shop run by Javi, a former barista at Baltazar that opened in September 2019. Cold cappuccino and I think I would take a Fredo Espresso. House coffee comes from Furt Cafe in Vienna. That's for all espresso drinks. For filter coffee, there are guest roasters from all around Europe. Okay, so Radek, this is for you, iced cappuccino. And I got a Fredo Espresso. You were told that Carl Ludwig Cafe has the most epic garden in Vienna and we can just confirm that. The good thing is that you are here and then you don't think that there's one of the busiest streets in Vienna in front, you just feel somewhere else. Imagine you sit and enjoy your coffee with a view into a private garden of Carl Ludwig Palace. Okay, so that was our last coffee and last coffee show we visited in this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoy our coffee tour in Vienna. Of course, there are many more coffee shops, so check them out on our website. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.